globalization, a growing population, and climate change are creating new challenges for our society. Therefore, ever larger megaprojects are being built around the world, which are driven by innovations in technology and engineering. From the plan to build the largest nuclear project Europe has ever seen, to a futuristic green city that will house almost a million people, to a huge infrastructural project that will become the gateway to 20 different Asian countries, here are the most impressive megaprojects to be built over the next few decades. Before we continue, make sure to like this video and to subscribe to Top Luxury. Let us know in the comments below which of these projects you enjoyed the most. Number 3. The ITER Nuclear Fusion Project As our demand for energy consumption is constantly increasing, more and more energy projects are being built around the world. In search of a solution to this ever-growing energy demand, this $65 billion project seems like one of the most ambitious approaches. The ITER, short for International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor, is a nuclear fusion research and engineering megaproject. Over 35 countries are working together on this 42-hectare site in the south of France, with the goal to make nuclear fusion possible on Earth, a process that occurs naturally inside of the sun and releases enormous amounts of energy. Accomplishing this goal would be a tremendous milestone in science and a very important step for a more sustainable future. In comparison to nuclear fission, which is used in conventional nuclear power plants, nuclear fusion produces much less and significantly weaker radioactive waste. A catastrophic disaster like the Fukushima meltdown or Chernobyl could therefore not happen. To put it simply, to create a nuclear fusion, two atomic nuclei are smashed together with immense force, causing them to fuse into a single, larger one. During this event, an enormous amount of energy is released, which, similar to nuclear fission, can be collected and used to generate electricity. However, to achieve this, you need lots of energy, as the two atomic nuclei are both positively charged and repel each other. You can imagine this as if you wanted to push two magnets together. This process takes place in the heart of the ITER, the so-called tokamak, which is generating a strong magnetic field. Inside this donut-shaped machine, the particles reach a temperature 10 times hotter than the core of the sun, 150 to 300 million degrees Celsius to be exact. A big challenge for the engineers and scientists is the material of the reactor walls. After the fusion of the nuclei, energy is released in the form of very fast neutrons that are slowed down inside the wall and generate heat. This heat then can be converted into electricity. For this reason, the scientists will do many experiments to test all kinds of materials. The construction of the facility is expected to be completed in 2025. That will also be the first time the machine is turned on. Once the reactor is finished, it hopefully proves that controlled nuclear fusion on Earth is possible and that a reactor can deliver more energy than it consumes. If this experimental reactor is a success, it is intended to build another project called DEMA, which would be the next big step towards a first-of-its-kind commercial nuclear fusion power plant. Number 2. The $100 billion Forest City Sometimes dubbed Malaysia's answer to Singapore, the Forest City is a new urban development located in Johor, Malaysia. The project is currently under construction and made up of four man-made islands that are about four times the size of New York's Central Park. These islands will house an estimated population of 700,000 residents once they are completed in 2035. To date, Investments into Forest City total more than $4 billion, but this number is estimated to rise to over $40 billion by 2035. One of the reasons investors find Forest City so appealing is that the city is well connected to Singapore's business district and is less than a 20-minute drive away. But what truly makes this city so special is the environmentally friendly and technologically advanced approach to the project. The developers wanted to create a futuristic green city with integrated vertical greenery, something that is rarely considered in such projects. While all of the traffic will be underground, 
Forest City will be covered by plants and trees on the top, creating a forest-like environment. Besides the greenery, the city will use Malaysia's first cloud-based community library and a robot service which provides residents with multilingual support. However, the key elements of the city are the vertical gardens, which use smart security systems such as smart doors and elevators that use facial and fingerprint recognition. Nevertheless, Malaysia's largest real estate project has a few obstacles on its way to completion. The global pandemic led to shutdown measures imposed by the Malaysian government, which slowed the construction of the islands down. Also, Forest City handed over only 20,000 units, which falls short of the 700,000 residents expected to be living there by 2035. Despite these challenges, Forest City is a pioneer in real estate projects in Malaysia, and since it's expected to create over 220,000 jobs, it will definitely leave a mark in the region. Number 1. China-Pakistan Economic Corridor It's no secret that China is making huge infrastructure investments around the globe. One of the biggest Chinese projects is the CPEC, short for China-Pakistan Economic Corridor. This massive bilateral project will improve China's energy supply as well as the international trade through a network of new land and sea routes. Pakistani officials predict that CPEC will result in the creation of upwards of 2.3 million jobs between 2015 and 2030. As a part of the New Silk Road initiative, China is willing to invest a staggering $46 billion in energy and infrastructure projects in Pakistan. This includes a number of large mega projects, such as road and rail routes, power plants, and the huge Gwadar port. Many of these larger projects, including the 487-kilometer-long National Highway 85 and the first phase of the Gwadar port, have already been completed. But in the next seven years, a total of 40 more of these megaprojects are expected to be completed. The biggest achievements of these projects might be the development of the Gwadar port, as it's about to become one of the most important shipment hubs in South Asia. With an investment of $1.6 billion, China wants to upgrade and expand this port into one of the deepest and largest seaports in the world. When completed, the port will be handling over 200 million tons of cargo annually, which is more than six times as much as now. As a result, it offers alternative sea routes that reduce the travel time of many ships by up to 50%. As we mentioned in the beginning, CPEC is not only about infrastructure. Actually, over 60% of CPEC expenditures go toward energy projects, which will transform the power supply of a whole country. Since the early 2000s, Pakistan has suffered from crippling electricity shortages that had a huge negative impact on the economy. This has led to the construction of several dams to generate hydropower, such as the Karat Station and the Suki Kinari Station, which are currently under construction. Both dams will have a combined capacity of 1,600 megawatts, which will roughly supply 1 million households with electricity. Unfortunately, China's largest investment is in coal-fired power plants. It is predicted that Pakistan's coal-fired power plant capacity will increase from 3% to 20% by 2025, which is why there have been growing environmental concerns about CPEC. Experts also criticize that Pakistan is overwhelmed with huge debts from China that may be difficult to repay. One only needs to look at the cases of Sri Lanka and Tajikistan, who heavily borrowed from China and ended up losing key infrastructural projects to China. However, Pakistan defended itself, insisting that the volume of China's debt is less than 10% of its total debt burden. That aside, constructing this corridor is crucial for China, as well as for Pakistan's future growth. It's the largest investment Pakistan has ever made since its independence in 1947, and it is also the largest investment China has ever made in any foreign country. What do you think about these mega projects? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to Top Luxury. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.